Hello everybody and welcome to my latest video. This one is going to be about, as you may have noticed, my paintings and artwork. I kind of promised this after the new year, but we had quite a lot going on, so I've not really had time to do it or much inspiration when there's building work going on around you. So um, I just want to introduce you firstly to these paintings. Now, I'll tell you a bit about my story. I first started drawing and painting when I was a child, very young, I'm quite a creative person. Um, it kind of goes with the territory of being a gardener and that. So the theme is mainly gardening, nature, plants, wildlife. This one I did, it's of a place called West Acre Nurseries in Norfolk. Now this is a place, it's a working nursery. So in here we go to visit Eva. It's very similar to this. This is slightly romanticised of course. You've got the nice soft apple foliage and the hazy light there. And it is a really beautiful place with gardens as well as a nursery and it's got a D-shaped wall garden, which is unusual. Anyway, I based it, this painting on there. It's very similar to this actual scene and it's a great place to go. So when we go on holiday to Norfolk, Mum and I, we are always visit here and come back with a few plants, of course. I've also done a large painting there. It's a landscape painting, as you can see. And one behind there, it's a bit hidden, but I will show you some stills of those. The other things I've done, well, I've done um, a couple of miniature paintings. I thought these were fun. So we've got a little Mrs. Mouse, very small. It's about three inches by two and a half. And little baby mouse there. And I thought these may go in a little display somewhere in the house, somewhere if I get around to it. They're quite good fun, those, aren't they? Um, I've also done a lot of illustrations and I've got about 70 or 80 of these. These are what I call pictures from Mushroom Town. It's a fantasy world I created. As you can see, this was a, again, a nature and gardening theme. This one's called Gardener's Cottage. I kind of imagined one day I might live in a house like this, kind of up top, but obviously um, probably not possible. But if you've got imagination, then you can go anywhere you like. I've also done another one here. This is a couple I'm showing you now. This one's called Cuckoo Pint Bridge because this plant here is called the Cuckoo Pint. It's a lovely plant that grows native in England, I think. Uh, I think it's native. And there's a little stream there and a ch chestnut shell boat with some little oars and some daisies. We've got a snowdrop lampshade there. So there's quite a lot of detail. And I used to do a lot of this. I used to sell these drawings and um, prints of them when I was. Um, uh, a few years ago it was actually. I used to sell prints and frames and cards and mugs and cushions and all sorts. Before I came back to gardening again because gardening is something I don't think will leave me alone or I can't leave it alone, one or the other. So so that's those. And I've also done, which I'll be showing you as well, excuse that, um, some very large mural paintings. I've done a fair few of them. Um, the largest one's about 40 feet maybe long. Um, the smallest one's window size. I'm going to show you videos of those. Unfortunately, most of the murals have disappeared by now. Um, the large one of the fantasy scene was again with mushrooms in it. Um, that was at a hotel not far away, but unfortunately it went bankrupt for some reason. Um, and then someone set fire to the place. So it's still there, the big one, and the other one's still there, but they are very sad looking. It's very quite sad to see my paintings looking like that. Um, quite distressing, you know, when you put so heart and soul into something. But anyway, you'll see them at their best and you'll see some other pictures too. I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and share the happiness around.